Oracle Database Cloud Service enables you to deploy Oracle databases in the cloud. You have full access to the features and operations available with Oracle Database, with Oracle providing the computing power, physical storage, and tooling to simplify routine database maintenance and management operations. After logging into your Oracle Cloud account, go to the Oracle Database Cloud Service page and open the Service Console. Then launch the Easy to Use Wizard to create a database deployment. On the Service page, enter a name for the service, also known as the database deployment. Select the service level of Oracle Database Cloud Service, which includes Oracle Database and supporting software, and then the release of Oracle Database. Choose a software edition. Each includes a set of predefined Oracle Database features, options, and packs. You can also select the database type, including a data guard configuration and a real application clusters database. On the details page, enter the database name, also known as the system identifier or SID, and provide the password that will be used for administrative users, such as the sys and system database users. Enter the amount of usable data storage for the database in gigabyte increments, up to a maximum of 2 terabytes. You can add more data storage later, as you need it. Select the computing power for the associated compute node from a list of supported Oracle CPU and processor RAM combinations. To use Database Cloud Service, you need a Secure Shell or SSH public and private key pair. You can easily create the key pair through the wizard. Once the wizard creates the key pair, download the zip file to your computer. To take advantage of automatic backups and store them locally and on an Oracle Storage cloud service, select both Cloud Storage and Local Storage. Provide the name of an existing Oracle Storage cloud service instance and identity domain. The wizard will create the storage container using this name. The cloud storage container has been created for the backups. After reviewing all of the configuration choices, you're ready to create the database deployment. After the database deployment is created, you can view more information about the database deployment on the Overview page, including the public IP address of the Compute node. You will need this IP address to access the Compute node through certain tools, such as PuTTY. Now you open ports to enable secure network access to the database deployment by enabling predefined access rules. You want to enable the access rule for the OracleNet listener on port 1521, so expand the menu for the Aura P2DB listener rule. Confirm that you want to enable the rule. The rule is now enabled. You can go through the same steps to open the ports for tools you want to use, such as Oracle Enterprise Manager, Database Express, and SQL Developer. And now you're ready to begin working with your new database in the cloud.